A very warm welcome. My name is Marvi Maiman, and whilst being a member of the World Bank Advisory Council for Partnership for Economic Inclusion and a former Federal Minister on Social Protection from Pakistan, I'm foremost a humanitarian with a mission to making a difference to those who matter the most, the vulnerable of the world. As Bitai, the great Sufi saint, would have said, Alam sab abad kare, meaning making the entire world prosperous. No easy task for sure. They say, Plus la change, plus la change vraiment pas. Though this saying is timeless, in certain cases it has lost its relevance, like in the case of how information is amended, accumulated, absorbed, analyzed, and applied, if ever truly productively actioned. What I'm referring to is the fact that being from the generation born in the 70s, we were encouraged to read, read, and read. And not just that, but write, write, and write based on what we had experienced. Fast forward 50 years later, and where do we find ourselves? Merged generations who like getting their information from sound bites, 120 words of a social media platform, with a mad race for likes, dislikes, trolls, et cetera, et cetera, without even moving from their sofa sets. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the new normal. And especially in the pandemic, when causes, whilst continue being battled in the streets, often get battled from the comfort of a mobile phone in a quiet corner of a home. Thankfully, the good news is that books and serious books and serious reports are still being published. Studies are still being filled, though filling more dust than earlier, and libraries are still thankfully being visited. The bad news, however, is that their readership has declined. However, the real battlefield is on the social media platforms, where an existential war is being carried out for ratings, space, tre trends, and all in the midst of this, where do the real serious facts, um, the real ideas, the intellectual content, which will determine the future of the vulnerable, where does it get lost in this maddening muddle? Where does one find content which can hold on to the attention span of an impatient mixed generation who wants to make up their minds in literally just 20 seconds? An uphill task for policymakers, advertisers, corporates, development practitioners, or anyone who is frankly trying to convey what matters either to their brand value, their bottom line, or the bottom pit of the lives that matter the most. What matters to me as Marvi is ideas that make hearts, minds, souls, and bodies move into affirmative action. And perhaps that is the raison that behind the so-called video rencontre. Those ideas which are not so stimulating because they're hidden behind hundreds of pages of serious reports or books which intellectuals have spent years researching and publishing. Ideas that are falling and failing to reach generations who want everything fast enough on their fingertips. Being the communicator or the bridge between the two could be a humbling task. Reading and then communicating whilst transmitting in palatable new normal conditions. Why not? Especially coming from an original Citibank marketeer to a former politician whose life revolved around either selling products or ideas to masses. In essence, communicating with consumers, masses, and finally with voters. There are millions of ideas floating on the readable shelves and the internet world for that matter. What matters to me might not necessarily matter to you. The idea is to see where there is a marriage of common bottom denominators. Being an influencer of ideas that will impact the lives of those who matter the most in the new normal, that to me is worth exploring. In fact, I have been doing it all my political life and my 28 years of work experience life. Recently, I have found that the new methodologies must be explored to cut the clutter, the conflict, which, and to transmit clearly what is consensus driven. So I invite you to explore with me ideas that matter the most to those who matter to, to me and to you. And in the midst of all that serious exploration, let there be some lighter food for thought too. Ladies and gentlemen, let the show begin.